गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबडी सो सीधा जाते हैं एक क्वेश्चन पे वेर वी वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच आई वॉन्ट एवरीबडी टू आस्क योर सेल्फ आई वॉज बोर्न इंटेलिजेंट एजुकेशन रूइन मी आई कुड सी लॉर्ड ऑफ स्माइल्स कमिंग इन लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल आई ग्री विद दिस पर हैप्स द क्वेश्चन रिमेन इज वाई हाउ आई मीन जिस चीज को बनाया गया था हमें इंटेलिजेंट बनाने के लिए उसके लिए इस तरह का स्टेटमेंट क्यू एंड वाई आर वी एक्सेप्टिंग दैट ओके Education is built on three basic principles. If you tend to understand curiosity, playfulness, and joyfulness, but a short as a point. हम में से कितने लोग curious थे जब हम लोग study कर रहे थे? कितने लोग joyful होके जाते थे? अगर college जाते भी थे तो joy का reason studies नहीं था. जो था वो discuss नहीं करते. छोड़ and playfulness was ability to use this knowledge in real life and that perhaps never worked. In. तो अगर ये तीन चीजों का मैं बात कर रहा हूं तो अमर व्हाट इज एजुकेशन सिस्टम डूइंग दैट ओके लेट मी गेट द नेक्स्ट थिंग व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज एजुकेशन डूइंग राइट नाउ आर थ्री बेसिक प्रॉब्लम्स नंबर वन रोड मेमोराइजेशन नो दामिनी पिक्चर का एक डायलॉग है सनी देवल का तारीख पे तारीख तारीख पे तारीख तारीख पे तारीख वैसे ही अपना स्टडीज भी हो रहा है पढ़ो रट्टा मारो और पेपर लिखो और ये रिपीट करते गए करते गए करते गए एंड व्हाट वी गॉट एंड ऑफ द डे इज अ डिग्री विद अ न्यू प्रॉब्लम नोइंग एंड डूइंग गैप डिग्री तो मिल गया करना क्या है वो नहीं मालूम सेकंड प्रॉब्लम नो क्रिएटिविटी आई मीन क्रिएटिविटी कॉन्सेप्ट है एजुकेशन का बट सारे सब्जेक्ट जितना मैं समझता हूँ हैज बिन ऑलवेज थॉट एज अ पार्ट ऑफ हिस्ट्री आई मीन दिस इज इट एंड दिस इज हाउ इट इज गोन बी एंड गलती से अगर आपने क्वेश्चन पूछ लिया जैसे मैं पूछता था Why you become outstanding student? Don't have high hopes. मैं आधे टाइम क्लास के बाहर ही रुकता था. Reason student जो ज़्यादा क्वेश्चन पूछता है वो over smart है. निकालो इसे बाहर. That is how no faculties perhaps target you. ठीक है. The third problem is understanding the life challenges and solving it using education. अब यहाँ पे दो तीन problems थे. एक education ने जो सिखाया वो शायद life में हमने use नहीं किया. या हमें मालूम ही नहीं था उसे यूज कैसे करना है या लास्ट एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट जो लाइफ में चाहिए था वो एजुकेशन ने सिखाया नहीं लाइक आई स्टिल रिमेंबर प्रोबेबिलिटी हम लोग सबको सिखाया गया था एज अ सब्जेक्ट ऑफ मैथ्स वी अंडरस्टूड दैट फाइन प्रोबेबिलिटी इज मैथ्स एंड वी अंडरस्टैंड टिल द टाइम शी आस मी द क्वेश्चन अमर एम आई लुकिंग फैट आई रियलाइज प्रोबेबिलिटी दिस इज नॉट मैथ्स दिस इज लाइफ साइंस Probability of me winning, believe me, was very small. Why? If I say yes, ha, see, I'm fat. You don't love me. You're a bad partner. If I say no, you are a liar. So you relate how education could have helped, but couldn't help us. So these three problems were there. These were the three problems which we always had. Apart from that, as an educator, we always had a barrier coming in. Now, barrier? What is it? Either the language, the topic, the way you deliver. Or can be anything. Like in my case, me, you look at me. I'm six three, weigh hundred and twenty two kg. Probably, just as I'm in class, I enter. Or if they are small children, then in their mind they are small, small beam, small beam. Or else, no. For the grown ups, they are no stylists. They say, oh, Godzilla size does matter. Now, this is my barrier. Because with this size and with this, you know, Rocky by look, it is difficult for me to enter and say, everybody, guys, I'm the trainer. I'm going to teach. The problem is the barrier. How would you solve this? I mean, issues है, barrier है, solution कहाँ? Okay, this is what my take on to education, humor. अगर humor को मैं education के साथ combine करूँ, तो इसे एक नया term मिल चुका है, edutainment. A term which is used to relate education and entertainment and create experience. एक मिनट, मरा, 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 मरा. This is education, experience, edutainment. Why? Why are you after education? Uh, no, experience. Rather than educating, there is a famous quote which I love to give. People don't remember education. People remember the experience you cause them, and that's exactly what I'm trying to give. Experience. Amar, kaise? Remember, try to go back and remember your favorite teacher, sir, ma'am, tuition teacher, whoever. You don't remember what they taught you. You remember the way they taught. So let's make it simple. Aapko yad hai experience jo unhone aapko diya. Not how it worked or why it worked, and that's exactly what we are trying to do. Amar, fine, acha quote hai, but we need more reality check. Okay, give you a reality check. Dashboard, a UK-based company, did survey over 5,000 students in 2023 April. Came out with these results. 
Only 20% of students could remember what they read. Remaining 80% could remember what they saw or what they see. Let's get one thing again back. Experience, what you see, you remember. Where you say, we, we met last talk, na, I, I don't remember your name. The face. You remember it. And that's exactly what we are trying to do. Let's try to understand how brain works. If you want to understand, I won't get into technical details. Let's make it simple. Brain can consider itself as a supercomputer. Various senses like what we see, what we hear, what we smell as a sensory input. How knowledge works. Okay, We take input from the senses. We combine it with the experience and brain creates something which we call as a knowledge. Are both complicated. Let's make it simple. When I was a kid, I was a notorious one, obviously. So a problem tha, mujhe se khelna lagta. I used to love playing with fire. But now the problem was, I was told many times, no, that typical mom, Amar boo, kaika boo. I never used to listen. Till the time, ek bar mene only stove dala. Achha kasa burn hua. Now let's understand how brain worked. Brain worked in a very simple manner. I got hurt, my brain understood senses hurt. Experience, putting a finger in fire. Knowledge, do not do that. Concept is very, very simple. So now, if this concept is simple, Amar, where is a humor? Okay. Any complicated topic which we want to convey, if combined with the right humor, would always create something which we call as memory knot. It's a scientific concept. Amar, science, let's, let's talk more science on this. Okay. When you tie anything to a complicated topic, the topic becomes interesting. But how? That's the humor. Aap ek joke do, ek situation do, aur unhe relate kar do. Memory not. You will not remember the topic. You will remember the joke which we crack. And that's exactly the humor could do. Now, when we use humor in a right way, it creates experience. And as already quoted, we don't remember education anyway. We remember the experience which we go. And to make it better, the best way to present experience is using humor, self-humor, and concepts like some funny quotes. Fine, Amar, we understood. So, Madhav, you are trying to tell us that giving education with entertainment would make sense? Huh? In fact, it makes that sense that I follow a rule called 15-minute rule. Now, what exactly is this 15-minute rule? And why it came? Simple. I'm somebody who trained people for as long as 5 to 8 hours a day. A normal adult human can remember or can give you attention or attention span is around 20 minutes. That's it. So now imagine after 20 minutes, either he's going to, going to sleep or he's going to think about checking WhatsApp, Instagram and other. So how to get attention? So that's my way. 15 minutes, mein, if you crack a joke. What happens? People interact, people laugh, giggle, smile. They suddenly are interested in what happened, what happened, what happened. You regain their attention. And then it's very, very simple. Once you regain their attention, you're, you're resetting the clock. They are ready to be with you for next 20 minutes. And you keep on repeating it. That's how I survive with five or eight hours of training from last 17 years of my life. And that is exactly what I'm trying to say. Achha, to Amar, you mean to say having humor would help? It will help on every stage. You relate, you crack a joke, people like it, people become part of it. All the big things like engaging all senses. You are engaged in all senses. You are laughing, you are looking at, you are thinking, you are saying. You are taking active participation with the joke. Why? When you crack a joke, others will adapt to it. Sir, iske saath bhi aise hua tha. Aray, sir, mere saath bhi aise hua tha. Think about it and that's exactly what happens. Even complicated concept, you know, as we say, promote active learning, complicated concept becomes easy. I give you a concept. I'm basically somebody who's been PhD with engineering. There is a topic called polymorphism. Ability to exist in multiple form. Bookish example, water. When you freeze, it becomes solid. When you melt it, it is water. When you heat it, it becomes vapor. Good. How many of us can go, huh? remember this? Let's change this. Aap mein, hum log sab polymorphic hai. So, I matlab, a simple sa word, hello, zara socho, jis tara se hum log use karte hai. Agar kisi se jhagda hua hai, baat nahi karni, aur uska call hai. Think about your hello, rude, angry. Hello, kya hua? Once I told you, I don't want to talk to you. You put it down, good. Uske baat kisi khas ka phone hai. You all understand what khas I'm talking about, it's fine. So, agar phone hai, now think about what is going to happen. Because she called up, suddenly your body is full of energy. And like, hello. What happened? 
polymorphism, ability to exist in multiple form. Now remember this, today when you go back, you will not remember what Amar Panchal said or Dr. Amar Panchal gave. You remember this experience. Lot of us actually understood this because we have done this or somebody has done this to us. And that's exactly my take on to this experience. Fine. 15 minute rule. Amar, we can talk on so many other things. Good. Now, if we are talking about all these things coming into picture, let's get some scientific side. Okay. When you are happy, your brain tend to release happy hormones. Now, this happy hormones, I'm not getting into technical scientific part, but happy hormones allows you to remember things for a longer run. When you were very, very, very happy, you could remember what you were wearing, what he or she was wearing, where were you, what you were having. Some joke, some, th some joke, something which you worked with, you actually could remember why. Because when you are happy, your brain tends to remember things in a better way. And that is what we are trying to do. My take on to education is pretty simple. If we take education, we combine humor and create edutainment. We will deliver not education experience which they would remember. Amar fine, super, we liked it. But how would we get humor? Now that's more interesting. The conventional sources like book, audio, video, always going to be remembered. Read something, see some audio, video. But more to it, why not to be use new technologies? Now, what are new technologies? AI? Yeah, the chat GPT. A boring sa topic, lo. take a boring topic, which you don't know what to do. I want to make it more interesting or comic. Copy this, give it to chat GPT, ask chat GPT. You can actually try this at home. Put it, make a funny story of this. Believe me, chat GPT can do wonders. So that is new technology use. In fact, the PPT which you are seeing at the back, every image is generated by DAL-E, which is one of the AI, which I described karke many images generate kiye. Why not to use technology? Ye to conventional the. These were the conventional sources. Now let's go to unconventional sources. Unconventional sources, social media and me. Social media, I'm really... See, understand, the youth which you are trying to train are so much addicted to social media. If we speak in their language, that would make more, big, greater impact. It's like giving consumer in own language. He will or she will be more interested. Like, for example, few months back, I used to very often crack jokes on kacha badam and pakka badam because it used to work. Abibi, when you are teaching something and people are not getting, instead of asking what you got out of this, I don't do that. I say, kya samjha? Baba ji ka thullu? Because they make more sense. And that's exactly my take. When we take humor in a proper way, use it to proper social media. Like, you know reels, you will get understanding what is trending. You go to YouTube short videos, you will understand what is trending. Use them in education. That creates an impact. Meme is another thing which people would love to. Why? Simple. They say one picture is equivalent to 100 words. I say one meme is equivalent to 1000. Believe me, meme is a combination of image with certain text to it. And we work in a very simple manner. If put in a right way, we really don't have to explain much. So my entire thing sums up to a very basic way. I want everybody or every educator to use humor as a tool Combine it with the education, create edutainment, which will give every learner experience, experience which they will not forget. Not only that, when you give them this kind of experience, all three basic senses gets fulfilled. They are curious to learn more. They are really interested. They love you. They have joy into it. They can play with the knowledge. And we will ultimately create a generation next who not only knows a lot of things, but also know where to use them. And this would transform generation next on really next level. That's it. That's my take on to it. Amapancha, signing off.